Hacking is a common problem in today's world. People are constantly getting hacked and hackers are destroying people's privacy via identity theft, which as a result can put people in danger and ruin their safety. Privacy is growing to be more and more of a safety issue each day. This project is a submission for Avishkar Makeathon and is under the personal safety category. Has your phone ever told you that a Wi-Fi network is unsafe to join? Or your privacy could be compromised because a certain Wi-Fi does not follow the latest security standards? Have you ever wanted to know if a hacker was on a network maliciously collecting people's passwords? Now you can. Introducing the Hacker Detector a common form of hacking over Wi-Fi is called DNS spoofing. DNS spoofing simply means hosting a fake or clone website trying to mimic the real website. My idea for detecting hackers to spot fake websites and alert people that hackers may be trying to collect their data through the false website. I've got a hacker detector, a prototype, and all the microcontrollers and stuff are enclosed inside it. You see, I have also got a website on the laptop named zshadow.org which is a website that creates fake website like if you want to add a thousand friends onto your Facebook account or add a million followers onto your Instagram. Here I have opened a site to add a thousand friends to my Facebook account and it is asking for my username and password which people would generally write without noticing that the website is secure or not. Here is when our greatest prototype hacker detector comes into play. It is currently showing its name hacker detector but now as I reload the website it's, it is showing as currently hackers detected. It is working, it's working and explanation are in the following slides. The hardware is simple. The Max, FTHR board, an ESP8266 or an ESP01 module, a 0.96 inch OLED screen and a battery or LiPo battery or you can directly connect it to your device. The Max FTHR board communicates with the OLED screen via an I2C interface. The ESP8266 module talks with the Max board via an analog input. There are many ways to hack. Our device is designed to detect the most relevant form of attack over a Wi-Fi network. This is called DNS spoofing. DNS spoofing allows hackers to redirect a web page that someone looks upon a Wi-Fi network. DNS stands for Domain Name System and is a system for naming computer or IP addresses over the internet. For example, the IP address 172.217 is www.google.com's IP. Hackers take the information that they are getting and forward it to the router. This is called MITM attack known as man in the middle attack. This means that all the devices on the local area network do not know that there is someone collecting their data. Hackers will then upload the wrong web page instead of the right one. Unfortunately, this is a very easy hack to perform. Our device is aimed at detecting false website served on a LAN and alerting the user that there is a hacker on the Wi-Fi network. Our device, the hacker detector, looks up at the website via HTTPS, pulls up the SSID certificate and compares the key found on the website to a key stored on the code.